Good morning everyone and welcome, well not good morning, it's good afternoon, good afternoon everyone. My name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos please smash that like button, please do subscribe, good afternoon. We're here in Rochester in the heat, no sun today but it's been extremely hot. Alexa, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Why not ask me if I fancy a cuppa? Alexa, do you fancy a cuppa? Yes, please. I'm parched. On second thoughts, best not. Alexa, what's the time, please? It's 3.54pm. So, good afternoon, everybody. Um, after a dreadful weekend, I'm not going to lie, it went very, you know, a, a dreadful weekend. Um, I got up this morning, you know, I had no intention to go anywhere, but I was in a happy frame of mind. I still am now, I'm not bothered by what's going on. I mean, I don't mind what other people do as long as they don't come near me and, and, and do anything to me. If they want to muck about and take the piss, they can do it on their own time and space because I'm just ignoring it. If that's how some people treat an older woman, then I'm better off without them, aren't I? So, good afternoon. Um, I've been pottering about my flat uh, today. I've done some washing and I've got my TikTok parcel, which I'm very pleased with. I'm wearing the socks and I'm wearing the headbands. Um, I hope I don't have the need to use the pepper spray. So, 3.38, we're continuing to get ominous weird messages i don't know whether the person's drunk or they've fallen over because i don't understand what this means hi would love to rest my head on your weekend hun kiss tom i i just i don't understand what that means they want to rest their head on my weekend i don't understand that I think they've been at the bottle. Don't get that at all. So, I've told you, usually when I'm due to go out to walk Max, um, basically we start to get messages as we did this afternoon. And they started... Right back. They started at 12.37 and I've had messages right up until 3.38. I just said I don't understand what you mean. I don't understand what they mean. Right. There was no normal post today. That was, the, yeah, that was the mail I got, and I'm very grateful for it, the TikTok parcel. Um, no normal post, and I wasn't expecting anything. Um, I was taken out Friday evening, I had no meal and no drink out, and my visitors returned early Sunday morning, and they'd had breakfast, but um, luckily for me, someone had deposited some money into my bank and I, you know, <laughs> I, um, Sunday morning I went to the co-op and today I've just been out to the co-op and I've eaten a breakfast and a lunch. So whatever was meant to wind me up and make me go hasn't worked it, because it's going to backfire on them. And this has been going on since 2008 as well um, and I'm getting too old for it I don't want it I don't I, I you know I just don't want it 
you know, you grow up, you move on and you get on with your life. You don't remain in the past and act like a child when you're in your 30s, 40s and 50s. Really. <laughs> I don't hold grudges. If someone has a problem with me, I accept that and we don't each like each other and that's it. You don't keep poking and pestering somebody. That's childish. So half past, half past one, you know, I'm washing my clothes, I'm, I'm putting them out on the dryers on the balcony and then I'm getting messages of a sexual nature right and i just well <laughs> there's nothing you can do because there's nobody there they're a fantasist it's in their head you have to feel sorry for them they need help they fantasize that you're you're there with them in, in i mean if you text them you i shouldn't really answer back to be fair so i went out after receiving these messages and I went on to the field and there was a female jogger with blonde hair waving her, head, her hair about and she sat on the bench. There was a man with earphones sat on the bench and there was another man sat on the bench at the top and I just walked on to the field and um, grey cardigan theme. Now, if I had worn a cardigan round the field this afternoon, I would have collapsed in the heat. So two women were wearing grey cardigan with long hair, brown and black, right down their back. One of them had dark sunglasses on, and that this time there was no sun out. There was no sun, but people suffer from hay fever. If you see people walking around with dark glasses, uh, you, you know, don't make fun of them um, if it's cold because they could be blind, partially sighted, or be suffering from hay fever. I used to wear dark glasses years and years ago because I suffered from hay fever. I still do, but... <laughs> You know, sometimes I wear sunglasses, sometimes I don't. Um, so I started walking around the field. There was a man in a white vest, because this person on flirt finder was saying, oh, I like your pictures. And they'd stuck a bloke in what looked like my white vest. And he was walking around the field, three women, two in grey cardigans, one wearing sunglasses, and I just walked Max and kept away from people, holding on to my pepper spray in case I needed it. And if they come near me and start faffing about, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to get my personal alarm. My personal alarm. Because I was told by the National Stalking Helpline that people don't like loud noises and the best way to deter them is to set the alarm off and they go away. <laughs> so, extremely hot and it makes you tired. I walked around the field very slowly with Max. He gets tired as well. He's a tiny chihuahua. And, uh, start, you know, it starts uh, every time these flirt finder messages, you know, it starts to get extremely busy outside. And there was a ma man in a, wear in a pair of pink shorts. When I went out this afternoon, I was wearing leggings. There was a guy in these extremely weird pr uh, pink printed shorts. And he went, <coughs> And went into the co-op. What the fuck was that? Honestly. What was that? And the person said that they was a security guard. And a lot of security guards wear high-vis jackets. They do wear high-vis yellow jackets. Or, 
orange. <laughs> I don't work. So I'm coming back. There's me, a small woman that's overtired, fed up, on my own, battling demons. And there's this, this Iceland lorry comes up, it comes up the road and it parks in a fucking strange fashion. Now him upstairs, he parks his car with the wheels sometimes twisted out. You know, like a um, tortoise and a tortoise has its like legs like this. Well, the guy upstairs sometimes parks his car with the wheels turned out. Right? I don't drive. So this Iceland lorry had its wheels twisted out like he parks his car sometimes upstairs. And there was a black guy with a hat on and he smelt of ladies' perfume. I'm not lying, he smelt of ladies' perfume. And he was uh, pressing someone's buzzer and he had a parcel for Tracy. So he must have uh, pressed somebody's other, other buzzer to let himself in. And he was uh, coming out of the flats and this waft of women's perfume wafted over. And he went into his delivery van. Right? So I went into the, I came into the flats and I sometimes go out to my mum's in a white taxi or sometimes it's a red and white taxi. So next door, the black family, about four young men, four black males got into a big white van. Four black men got into a white van. You know, I'm getting scared living in this place. I'm getting scared living in this place. Those black guys were wandering in my corridor at three in the morning the other night. <coughs> they're, they're dressed up like, you know, you know the hoods in America where they've got the black bandanas and the long hair down their back, the men. It's like living in America next door to me. And I'm on my own and sometimes I actually do feel scared. You know, you've got four or five black men coming out of the, 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 the neighbours next door and I'm five foot five and I'm tiny. Anyway, so I'm in my flat. I'm writing in my journal. And I'm, I, I feel like I'm being intimidated and frightened. But I'm still writing in my journal. I'm still doing my YouTube videos. Saturday was... I, I think it was meant to drain me more than anything. You know, to tire me out. And, and I, I don't know. I, all I know is, my name is Crystal. I've got an elderly mother called Jennifer that's 78. And, and why, why is someone trying to silence me? What have they done? Because the guilt's with them, it's not with me, because I haven't done anything. You know, leave me alone, right? Just leave me alone. You don't like me, don't visit me, just leave me alone. I don't ask to be, to be walked off my feet and lost in the dark or taken the piss out of. I think what's been done to me is disgusting. You know, I, do you know what? When I visited my mother, I had a bunch of flowers for her, which cost three pounds. I gave her a bunch of flowers. I didn't say let's go down the path because I know my mum's got bad legs. I didn't walk her down the road, miles up the road, off of her feet. It's up 
absolutely disgusting the way I'm being treated by some people, not everybody, but by some people, right? I just think someone's got a guilty secret because you just wouldn't treat a person like that. You wouldn't. £2.90 uh, 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 some carnations, right? And why is it about food? Like stripping my fucking cupboards bare of food and leaving me without food uh, and fucking, you know, driving up to shops that are shut and fucking, oh, I can't be bothered to wait outside McDonald's. <laughs> when I would have paid for it, do you know what I mean? I'd have paid for them at the McDonald's. Yeah, you think you're going to wind me up and make me go, yeah? You're going to wind me up like a fucking toy and make me go. Well, no, you're fucking not. And even if I was hungry, I could f I'd get food myself. Absolutely ridiculous. Right? I haven't had a holiday for 12 years. You think you're fucking clever and that's how you treat people. Well, get on with it. But don't, don't come and pretend you care about me because you fucking don't, do you? Well, at least I give my mum something. I don't go up there and... Do you know what I mean? I've been taken up to London. I was taken up to London and I was walked off my feet, right? It's jealousy. It's the YouTube videos. It's the popularity, you see. Somebody doesn't like it. Well, I proved that person wrong as well because somebody said to me, Oh, I don't know why you've, you, you've got your YouTube channel. You don't get many views. They said, I've done one video and I've got thousands of views on it. Did I shut my YouTube account down? No, I didn't. And now I've got more views than they have. So th that's a load of crap. Don't listen to other people. Never listen to other people. If I just shut my account down, right, it's growing and TikTok's getting quite big as well. It's jealousy. That's all it is. And if they think they're better than me, well, why don't they fucking do videos then? Why don't they fucking... They take the piss because they're jealous. And that's the truth. And when you tell them that and they start laughing, you see that it is fucking maniacs see you later <laughs>